New federal lawsuit accuses leaders of a local city of racial discrimination. As James Pilcher reports now, this stems from a company's effort to boost the number of affordable housing units on land it already owns. And this is a story you will see only right here on Local 12 News. The dispute centers on this 18 acres in the heart of Ellesmere. The owners of the manufactured housing complex Heartland Point want to expand and build 65 more homes here. You know which one you want us to read first because if it passes then we don't have to read the second. But city council members in Ellesmere at this December meeting denied his zoning request which would have allowed the new development. Then the city started the process of trying to take the land through eminent domain saying it was going to build a park there. Flagship Communities has owned the land since 2020. Spokeswoman Kathy Grube says Ellesmere's moves are discriminatory. Based upon the December 13th sham of a hearing, they, they, they had a preordained uh, conclusion. In his federal lawsuit, the company argues the city's actions unfairly target minorities. The majority of the existing residents at Heartland Point are of Hispanic descent. Linda Via Passione is an advocate for the Latino community in Northern Kentucky who says the city's actions were not surprising. Sadly, it's almost uh, a feeling of we figured. Whenever something good is going to happen, something somebody comes and takes it away from us. City leaders, including the mayor and city manager, declined to go on camera. In a written statement, the city said they took great care to follow all procedural requirements, and Ellesmere is proud of its historically diverse culture. The decision came after the Kenton County Planning Commission signed off on the company's proposal, stating a county-wide goal of increasing affordable housing. Via Passioni says the community life at Heartland Point dispels stereotypes many have about trailer parks and the like. These are here to stay. This is not somebody coming in for two weeks or three weeks and moving out to another part of, of Kentucky. These are people who are wanting to put down roots but don't have the funding available. All right, James is joining us here at the desk now. James, tell us more about this development and the types of homes that are being built there. So as you can see from that story there, these are these are not like your traditional mobile homes. These are permanent homes. They're pre-manufactured, and they, they cost between about $60,000 and $100,000. Okay. And the, 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 the person will own the, whole, the house, but then lease the land that the house sits on. Hmm. So the city said it wants to build a park on the land? Yeah, that's right. So they want to they wanna take that land and build a larger park with uh, tennis courts, basketball courts, and some other things. But the company points out the only way you can get to this land is through the existing housing development. So it's going to cost a lot of money to create some mm -hmm. new roads and cut-throughs. So the, there's a big dispute here. All right. Thank you, James. We'll keep following it, please.